Okay, today I got a little free time. I'm gonna try to build these stackable storage trays that uh, John Heiss uh, showcased on his uh, YouTube channel for uh, stackable storage trays parts holders. I uh, printed out the PDF a while ago. My father-in-law wants these to put in this uh, truck to keep his screws and stuff sorted. It's not, don't look very simple. Uh, I mean, uh, it looks pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot while I got a couple hours free time. Uh, you can get these plans at uh, ibuildit.ca. John Heiss has a lot of good work, woodworking projects there. Uh, this here is just a test test run right here of these. I'm gonna go ahead and try to build the whole assembly, put it together for for my father-in-law. All right. Okay guys, I just took time, I ripped down some rough links, uh, the width's three inches, got three of those, and a four and a quarter, got those uh, ripped down to width, now I'm going to uh, probably get out my crosscut sled and knock them to length, after I get that done, I'll install a dado stack and put the uh, dados in for the bottoms and sides. And I'll get back with y'all shortly. Okay, guys, yeah, got all my four size that uh, I had to uh, put an eighth inch dado in. Uh, two bottoms, cut the length and width. This is going to be the handle. These are two end caps on the handle. I got the Put the measure in, uh, take a force a bit, do these out, saw that out in the center. Uh, it might taper on it just to give a nice little curve to the handle. I'll do that on the bandsaw. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to get ready to do this, get this all marked out, then I'll film the bandsaw work. And then I'll get my dado stack set up to put these 8 inch dados in, which are going to... Uh, Accommodate my uh, my hardboard, blue iron, put the dividers. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I got my scribe line to arch of the handle. Real three quarter hole here and here. Hog that out with a jigsaw, band saw this off. All right.
All right, guys, out there, just a uh, hog out the middle with the jigsaw. And I'll start my dado setup for the sides. And I'll get back with you. Okay, guys, I got my half inch dado set up to uh, take the rabbit out along the sides. On my table saw, I don't have an insert for, uh, to accommodate the half inch dado. So it's kind of dangerous. So I did move my fence to this side. That way I can keep my pressure over here because if I left it over here, it would. More likely to tip off in there. So I'm gonna keep my pressure down through here and hog out this half inch rabbit down the back side of these. Alright guys. Okay guys, I got got my all my panels marked up for my dados for my uh, quarter inch board for the dividers. Every one of them marked out. My uh, dado stack will accommodate my blade in here I'm gonna use the modder gauge slide it through uh, knock out on the side of the X quarter inch dado by a quarter inch deep alrighty guys that three more times and then I'll begin the assembly process. Okay guys, we'll start assembling these. Let's see. Go together like that. Slip them down in the rabbits, put some glue in here, shoot some brads. And uh I'm gonna go right on here like this. Fit right in the rabbit. Some pin nails in there. Let me get it untangled. This here's a uffy. 20 grains pin nailer. I won this on a draw from workshopaddict.com. Great woodworking, metalworking form site. So you guys check it out. You get away daily prizes, monthly prizes, pretty regularly. Uh, 23 gauge by Uffy Tools. It's awesome. Pin nailer. I've used it 100 times. Just Never got around to give them a review on it. So you just bump action, squeeze trigger and get on bump action. There's 
to one uh, one side of it assembled. Okay, guys, uh, got the box all assembled. Say, I think it's uh, 14 inches long, about 10 inches wide. These are uh, slots are roughly a three and three quarters wide. Just got through a uh, ripped a uh, quarter inch lure on. Ripped them four and a quarter wide, by two and a half deep. They should uh, just go right down in there. Just like that for the dividers. I ripped a bunch of them. I plan on making a couple more of these boxes, stacking them. That's so how you put the dividers in. Wherever you want them, and you can have little parts bins. You can move one, have a big one, or you can have however you want to set them up, you know. Just wherever you want to put them at. Nice little parts tree by John Heiss. I build it. .ca, I believe. Yeah, that's the website. A lot of tips and tricks and jigs for your shop. Uh, went together pretty quickly. As I said I did this right now. Let's see what time is. Okay. Yeah, it took me an hour and ten minutes to do this. I was in kind of hurry, rushing it. So they are stackable with the handle. You stack another one right on top of it. Just slide right down in that slot. Let's see if I got a piece of half inch here. So this will be another handle on top of another bin. It was. Well, anyways, you get the point. If I can find find the slot handle will just sit right up inside that one there and then you can stack them like that all right guys this uh first little project i put out in a while did it pretty quickly uh my filming isn't all that great it's in kind of a hurry today to get this done with a day in law we he had to go to a big box store to pick up us some lumber I stayed behind, finished up another little underpinning job we had. It took me like 30 minutes this morning. I'm going to pick up the lumber to pick, finish a porch I'm working on. And I uh, just thought I'd shoot a little video. All right, guys. Thanks, uh, John Heiss, iBuildIt.ca. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, has a lot of great products. It's a... Uh, 23 great 23 gauge brad pin nailer by elfie tools great gun great check us out at uh, workshopaddict.com thank you guys